here starting off by having one of our favorite Korean meals. This is Korean style shabu shabu. And unlike other types of shabu shabu where you have like Japanese and Chinese shabu shabu, Korean shabu shabu is unique in the sense that it comes with three different courses. Yeah. So even before we cook it here for you, you can all these nice aromas yeah, and, look and at the steam, steam is coming rising. right in my face. Ooh. Before we even do that, let's take a look up the toppings and this I can explain things a bit more clearly. Okay, so, so this is first. Yeah, so basically these is your plate of vegetables. You've got um, mandu, which are the Korean dumplings. You've got pumpkin, all kinds of different lettuce, and yeah. different things. And then over here you have the meat, which is the shabu shabu. Basically, this is like your thinly sliced beef. Mm -hmm. So after we're done cooking the meat and the vegetables, we cook the noodles, and these are called kalguksu. They are yeah. handmade noodles. They are awesome. That is one of my favorite parts. But mm -hmm. actually, my very favorite part is right at the end. We add this rice and we turn it into kind of basically you use over your leftover shabu shabu yeah. and you kind of turn it into a bokumbap which is a Korean style of fried rice and it is awesome. So no more rambling, let's get cooking. <laughs> let's start cooking. So the broth is boiling which means it's time to start cooking our food. So we're just going to drop in the greens first. Yeah, look at all of the different assorted oh greens my. we have over here. Like there, it's just a ton. And some mushrooms. Look at these. Yeah, and the key uh, here is that you actually definitely want to cook your meat before you start cooking the meat. Because the meat looks like almost like on an instant, like almost instantaneous. Yeah, in like a it. second. Yeah, just drop all that in there. Oh, you know what? We're supposed to be using our scissors. That's what they're for. So I'm just gonna dig right in here with my hands. And this is gonna make it easier to eat the vegetables. <laughs> yeah, we should have been doing that from the, the get-go. Whoopsies. So we're just waiting for those vegetables and mushrooms to cook and then we're going to put in the meat. And I think I can say we're both salivating at this point. Yeah. It smells so good. Pretty much just drooling over the over the pot here. <laughs> so like we were saying, the meat really does cook in like a second or two. Yeah, so look, Sam's going is, to demonstrate. Look how thinly sliced this is. And it's red. It's totally raw right now. Yeah. Plop it in. Watch this. And swish it around. Swish it around. And that's how Shabu Shabu gets its name. It's basically an onomatopoeia, meaning that it it's the sound of the shabu, shabu. The, the sound it makes when it's Look cooking. Look at that, it's already cooked. Wow. So I think we're finally ready mm -hmm. to serve ourselves up some of that yes. delicious shabu shabu. The Korean first style. The course is done. Look at that. So I'm gonna try and get a bit of everything. So there we go, my bowl is all served up and we have some mushrooms, the beef, tofu, greens, a rice cake, and of course the broth. So let's go for the beef. Ooh, look at that, it's steaming. I'm gonna try not to burn myself. That seems to happen at every meal. Mmm. And it's really nice and tender. And it's taking on the flavor from the broth, which is super nice. A little bit of spice at the end. But yeah, that's good. You're trying that broth directly? Mm hmm. Alright, serving myself up a massive bowl over here. I think I grabbed too much. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big Whoopsies. portion. Okay, so I'm gonna go for some of the, the lettuce and the meat first. Oh, that's a nice big piece of meat. Super hot. Wow. You know, the last time we had shabu shabu was actually when we were in Korea. And that was like over three years ago. Mm -hmm. It was amazing <laughs> having it again. Like I'm in a very happy place right now. So you're grabbing some more meat over here, huh? I sure am, because aside from eating the meat like straight out of your soup bowl, they also give you these two sauces. So this one is kind of like soy sauce with a little bit of vinegar and some chives. And then they also have this like sweet chili, which is really nice. <laughs> so I've been dipping my meat. Too. And you know the hardest thing about filming this meal is trying not to get the lens all fogged up from the scene. <laughs> I know. It is so hot at the table. I'm like literally sweating here. I feel like the makeup is melting off my face while I eat. 
better with the sauce. That's really nice. It's just nice to mix it up, you know, because we've got a really large portion. So just a little bit of everything. It's good. Mm. Mm. So good. That's so good. Wow. So what are you having over there? Yeah, so aside from just all of the, the meat and, and the vegetables, there's lots of other ingredients as well. Mm -hmm. So I've got a rice cake in between my chopsticks here, so I'm gonna try that. Mm. Nice and chewy. Yeah, <laughs> nice and chewy. <laughs> when you're eating Korean rice cakes, the thing is you really do need to chew them all. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing that I'm gonna try here is the mandu. This one has been cooking for so long. This is the Korean dumpling. This one has been cooking for so long that it's like kind of turned into a, gi a gigantic mandu, like a long mandu. Let's try this here. <laughs> that looks a little bit hot. <laughs> try not to burn yourself. Yeah, it's super hot. I'm like, <laughs> I'm burning the top of my, my gums over here, but yeah, that's really good. That's just kind of your plain standard uh, gogi meat mandu here. Mm. Loving it. So we've been eating the meat and vegetables and we are now ready for round two. This is round two. So as I dump this in Carefully, the bowl. Carefully, don't splash. Ah. This is the official start of round two of our meal. So basically yeah. we've moved on from the meat and vegetables. There's still a bit left. Yeah. But now we are cooking the, the noodles here. It's Korean noodles. Okay, so it is now time for the noodles. So they're green and orange. And I believe these are like vegetable colored. You know? mm. How's that? Really nice. Wow. They look really thick from over here. They're chewy too. But yeah, it's really nice because our broth is getting thicker and you can really taste the meat and the vegetables that have been cooking there. So yeah, the noodles have kind of taken on that flavor. It's pretty nice. All right, and we have officially moved on to phase three, which is the bokumbap, the rice part. This is my favorite part. So we've done this before. Um, we're just throwing it all in with a bit of the broth. <laughs> Boom! Boom! Alright, so now we have to stir that to make sure it doesn't stick. Alright guys, this is what I've been waiting for. The rice is done. Take a look at that. So we have it all finished here. Basically, yeah. we, we left enough ingredients so that there was still quite a bit from the original shabu shabu. Yeah. And then we mix it all together with the rice and the egg and the sauce just absorbed. And we let it sit there for a while. And we let it cook long enough that I think we've let the rice burn at the bottom, which is just, that's the best part. Yeah. yeah. So we've now shut off the heater, but we're letting it get crispy. All right, it is super crispy. It's super crispy here. <laughs> Maybe even a little burnt. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Honestly guys, that's better than just about any kind of bokum bop that you would make just on its own. The leftovers from Shabu Shabu are incredible with Korean fried rice. Well Sam, I think you got it all because there isn't much left in there. Yeah, we're pretty much just scraping at the bottom of the bowl at this <laughs> point. Yeah, so we finished everything, so now it's time to pay the bill. So how much was it? So in terms of price point, that was 26,000 won, Iman Yukchon won, which is 23 US dollars right now. Yeah. And that is for two people, so that's yeah. fantastic value. And for a three course meal. I know, so. we're so full. So. Yeah, we're leaving satisfied. Come get Shabu Shabu when you're in Korea. <laughs> <laughs>